So the women's 5,000, you're seeing the outdoor seasonal debuts for Jordan Hase and Kara Goucher. This is also the first 5,000 on the track for Shalane Flanagan. Go ahead with the names we've got in this race. So we've got Shalane Flanagan, Kara Goucher, Brie Felnagel, Renee Medivere, Amy Van Alstein, Alexi Pappas, Jordan Hase, Emily Enfield, Rachel Cliff, Sarah Inglis, Jillian Forsey, Carrie Dimoff, Alicia Kreidberg, Allison Morgan, Megan Payton, Lindsey Carson, Kristen Rode, Kristen Finley, Juliana Curso, Aubrey Moskal, Laura Batterink, uh, Mayor Tiori, Charlotte Browning, Brittany Hutton, Morgan Gonzalez, Collier Lawrence, Jesse Rubin, and Jane Riccardi rounding out a field of 28. Holt will be the pacer. 33 for the first 200 and we'll just give you some highlights on these on these athletes Shalane Flanagan former American record holder uh, the best distance runner in the U.S. right now at the longer distances she steps down to the 5,000 meters Jordan Hase has run 1528 in her career Emily Enfeld up and down with injuries in her first couple of years with Bowerman TC as we as we get through the first lap in 72 mid for the first lap. Enfeld currently in second. Lexi Pappas runs in sixth, just behind Hase, her former teammate at the University of Oregon when they were NCAA champions in cross country in 2012. You mentioned Maor, just some of the other names in here. Um, Maor, former uh, USF, University of San Francisco competitor, recently ran 1630 in the middle of that pack. Yeah, Israeli I, national champion, in fact. I can see Brie Felnagel there in the lavender top with the Adidas sitting on Flanagan's shoulder, Hase's shoulder, uh, a perennial national champion, uh, for, formerly of, and, and we are through 600 meters and 149, 150 low. So that pace may be off just a little bit. Well, you got to think, though, you're saying 73 and a half, right, and a good pacer knows that they the 73 and a half might be the pace. She's got to be at least a half a yeah. second in front of that. So that's 72 and a half, probably right on. I mean, yeah. if you're if you're going for that 15-20, right, and you got it's literally going to be cutting it down to wire. You got to think you'd rather be maybe a little hot coming out than a little too slow. So we'll see how, what happens here. I mean, just you can see this group continuing to battle here as we hit 800-229. So things may be slowing down a little bit. Kara Goucher sits in about and about 15th. She's. She's just in the second half of the field. God, that's got to be difficult, right? That's got to be difficult positioning here to work your way. I don't care if you know, you're know Kara Goucher, but to work your way through 14 other athletes here to get up to the pace where everybody wants, that's a tall order. Flanagan in second. You know, you got some other you know Canadian World XC representatives, Rachel Cliff, again, Brie Felnagel. She's got some top five NCAA XC finishes, you know, World XC earlier this year where she was 45th. She's run 9.47 for the two mile uh, Boston, or excuse me, 3K Boston indoors this year, uh, third at USA's. Uh, so, I mean, there's some good talent in here along with Shalane Flanagan, of course, who's just absolute, I mean, Miss American distance running, right? Uh, now, now, currently running in fifth, and this is where races like this get interesting. Alicia Kreidbring, she trains with uh, with the NorCal Distance Project. She's just behind Brie Felnagel, has run in the 1540s as we hit 341 through 1200 meters. Yeah. So Kreidbring from Northern California, Big West champion like you see there, on the verge of a breakthrough. Yeah, she uh, just missed uh, Nats qualifying. She was uh, uh, 16th and 19th uh, NCAA Regional XC. So she's had a chip on her shoulder since day one. Um, in that regard, 1547 at Adrian Martinez last week. And so Hase sits in about six with Lexi Pappas just behind her. Continuing to stretch things out here. We're looking at with nine to go, 418. The split there for the leaders. So again, 73 and a half is what they want going through. We're also keep an eye on hip 10 who's just behind Hase is Sarah Inglis. But now we've got four that are away, so three that are chasing the rabbit, and then the gap to Kreidbring. This is a critical point in this race as we head to 1,600 meters. Hase not connected to the front, not connected to Felnagel, who looks excellent behind Enfeld and 
and Flanagan. So now we're at we're coming up to 1600 meters, and we're at 453, 454. You know, actually, that pacing is just perfect. Yeah. Because you don't want it to be too hot. Now, this this group of six that's just behind needs to stay connected. There you see them there with Kreidbring leading them out. So Kreidbring uh, in position to have a great race and really break through and knock 10 to 15 seconds off her, her lifetime best. Uh, but uh, that connection to the group I'm concerned about. Yeah, definitely. If you're sitting, you know, in uh, fifth or sixth place right now, like Pappas or Hase, you got to be thinking, you know, maybe we got to make a move and get to the outside here uh, and make sure we're, you know, on track to do what we're supposed to do. I mean, this is, again, this is, you don't want to have to have USAs be where you have to hit a high AF mark. You know, that's just not very the, realistic. You need those shoulders relaxed going to that line at USAs. And and now we're also keeping an eye on uh, Renee Mativier. She is in the back of the chase group that features Kreidbring, Hase, Pappas, Inglis, and so Mativé, and we're and there's one athlete we'll work on identifying there who's second in that chase group. So now we're at 2K at, we just came through 2K, we're at about 6.09 through 2K unofficially, and the rabbit is off. So the rabbit did her job. She was supposed to be at 6.08 through 2K, and, and we're, so, so the front three, I just wish that more ladies were connected to that front group. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, obviously they made the decision, right, this, uh, with a 30 meter gap there, uh, you know, these ladies saying maybe that's a little too fast to go out. And, you know, Shalane Flanagan leading the field right now. So Rachel Cliff is also in the group. She's in between Kreidbring and Hase. And again, Cliff, a uh, Canadian World XC team member, a gritty racer. See if she can uh, pull something through here. And again, I mean, Fellnagel uh, in third place up front there. That group is just absolutely flying right now. So so the, the next time through, the next time through, we're going to see all of the field as they come through the start finish area the next time. And we'll get a, sh we'll get a shot at Kara Goucher. Kara currently is leading chase group number three. So, so you see Flanagan, Enfeld, and Fellnagel, it, it, they're doing some work now. Oh, it, yeah. It's, it's on right 7 now. 19 through that split, and now that chase group, 7 28. So a nine second gap already forming here. You know, I just, it's one of those things. I don't know if that group of five or six uh, is going to go too late to yeah. try to get that mark. I mean, I, I think that they're on pace. I think they're fine. And so, so, I mean, they're all having nice races, and I think they're running well within themselves right now. You can see the front three, and we're going to give every we're going to give a shot of the entire race here now. You can see just right around eight minutes with six to go for the leaders. Here's your chase group with Kreidbring, Cliff, Hase, Pappas, Mativé, and there's Kara Goucher right there trying to bridge the gap. So Kara ran a little conservative early, which is fine. I mean, she hasn't run a five count on the track in a couple of years, and you can see the rest chasing through. These ladies are all on close to 16 flat, 16 10 pace. So that gives you an idea of what the race looks like at this point as we're into the second half of it. And now making a move forward is infield. Going to take the lead here. You can see Kara Goucher there, now kind of running solo. She just went through the, th the 1500 meter start. So she's bridging the gap up to, to Mativé as we, as we go wide here to give perspective on where she is. You'll see what's in front of her. She's got, that, she's got her sights on that group with, with Hase, and there you go. Now you can see, so Goucher just passes uh, Renee, and she's looking at that at that next group, and Goucher is rolling right now. Check it out, Cody. Yeah, she take is it. moving. I mean, she's taking no prisoners here. She knows what she has to do. I mean, I'm sure someone on the infield probably gave her a split or something like that and let her know where she exactly where she was in the race and realized that, hey, I maybe went out a little too conservatively. And, uh, you know, that's just a testament to her fitness right now. She's literally made up probably a good 70-meter difference here in about 500 meters. It's simply astounding. And, and now you're back on the leaders. Those front three are, you know, I mean, they got to be in the ballpark where they're starting to think about that 15-10 type. Of, maybe not quite that fast, but, I mean, I think that 15-15, they are on that IAAF standard uh, pace as we'll get a 3,200-meter split momentarily here. That's a great shot at Enfeld, Flanagan, and Felnagel. Felnagel has got to hang on for two more laps. They got to get to thousand, 
and that's 947. So 1515 is realistic here. I mean, yeah, definitely. And you know, for Feldnagel, this might be a little out of her comfort zone a little bit. I mean, that's 947 is moving. Now here. you see you see the chase group is approaching the 3200 meter mark. 03, 04, about 04. Goucher two second back, two seconds back in 06 as Pappas takes the lead on that group. So infield continuing to push in here, and it looks like Felnagel is going to be pushing back Goucher, though. You can see Goucher here on our screen. Now we're back to the main group. And so, so you see Enfeld done a ton of work in this race. So 10.23 with, 10 with four to go. So if they run a, if they run a 4.50, that's 15.16. That's the 73s. That's what they were looking for. And now Felnagel is off that group. So now let's see, this, this group comes through. And they're at 1040. Yeah, Papa's trying to do it by herself right there. So they are they are in trouble to not hit the USA, right? The, Definitely. Th that group needs to get going to hit USA, well, the A can, standard. And you can already, as we got our front group here, you can see Felnagel starting to drop off. It's now infield and Shalane Flanagan starting to duel. But you've got, and you've got that third group right there. But Flanagan and infield, I think they know maybe how close they are as well. And they're trying to make it, you know, a mute point where they get fifth, sub 1520. They feel confident about it. They can roll into USA's. And now we've got this chase group right here. As you can see, Pappas, again, opening up 10-meter lead here. Hase in pursuit. And now you can see Kara Goucher at the back there. And she really hasn't been able to close that gap any more than she did about 600 meters ago. The problem is she, she, was, she had that gap. And while everyone else is pressing, she's got even more. She's got double the work to do. And speaking of the work, now Flanagan is back up front. You can see now the chase there. Kreidbring just off as pa as Pappas is broken away. And Kara Goucher still still climbing up the ladder here, working her way through. And, and uh, you know, that, that's why it's great to have all these competitors on the track together. I mean, that's impressive right there because she seemingly was stalled out for 400 meters where she just, there was a 10 meter like thick glass wall between her and that second group. And now she's obviously broken through that. And she's going for scalps here. She's got Hase in pursuit and now Flanagan. Now down the back stretch, you've got Flanagan and That's Enfeld. Infield. Yeah. Enfeld down and, and they're just coming through and they're within their three and a half laps to go. And look at them open up there. I mean that's just they, they continue to push the pace there. Feldnagel has fallen way off here. And now Flanagan continuing to push here on the home stretch with just over two laps to go in fell Flanagan pushing this is a tempo run in Beaverton right now <laughs> for these two ladies the Bowerman TC ladies two laps to go at 1247 two laps to go and Felnagel is going to be crossing behind them with 800 meters to go as well she's got about a 10 second differential between those two leaders and they just keep continuing to push it as now they're lapping runners and Pappas here now, if you, we go back to the main straightaway, you can see that Pappas is, we go back, Pappas is now being chased by Goucher. Goucher goes by Hase. Yeah, Goucher, again, just a gutsy race. If you know, you've got Infield and Flanagan up front, but Goucher, the, just the character there, the veteran approach to this where she's run essentially the smartest race out of the entire field here. And now we've got Flanagan and Infield again, just rounding the corner here about 550 remaining and we'll see who comes away with a victory here as they continue to rock and roll we're at th 1340 and change right now and infeld just sitting behind and now moves out to lane two infeld going to take the lead here as we can continue this race here infeld is going to with 400 meters remaining Felnagel in third Goucher in fourth as we see this home stretch right here and now back to the leaders in Feld. Five meter gap, 325 remaining. Continuing to push. And again, you can see that forward lean there, meaning all business, just under 300 meters to go. We're at 1419. In Feld. Might have a shot. Definitely going to break 15 here if they keep this up. And now pushing it in fell just under 200 meters and so there's going to be just over 15 minutes between Infeld and Flanagan again Felnagel in no woman's land 
back in third, and Enfeld just continuing to put on the afterburners here. Emily Enfeld from Nike Bowerman Track Club holding off Shalane Flanagan. The finishing stretch here, Portland Track Festival 2015, and your winner with a time of 15.07, unofficially 15.10 and change for Shalane Flanagan. And now we've got a race on the back here as Bree Fellnagel desperately trying to hold off all challengers here. Fellnagel with a 30 meter jump here. And now Kara Goucher in fourth place. Hase sliding into fifth past Pappas. And Fellnagel coming through with the finish. Fellnagel will be 15.36, 15.38 for Kara Goucher. And then coming across the line, fifth place, Jordan Hase, followed by Alexi Pappas, the top six there. So two ladies under the qualifying mark here for uh, USATF with a great race. Uh, Shalane Flanagan, Emily Infeld, your winner for the high performance meet here as we've got the rest of the competitors cruising on through. Brie Fellnagel from Adidas coming through in third. And Kara Goucher all the way from the cheap seats making her way, climbing through the field into fourth place. An excellent run for her. She's got to feel good about that. Her first 5K on a track in a couple years as now we have Everyone closing stuff out here. The final finishers just about 200 meters away from wrapping this thing up and getting us into the high performance 10K. As we've got two final finishers. Down the stretch here. But your winner of the women's 5K high performance, Emily Infeld beating Shalane Flanagan here to start off the professional action at the Portland Track Festival.